leave you for the game, did you think you'd get away or win 2 0 against a team from a high division? Um, listen, it's, it's, uh, it's just a friendly. Um, yeah, we have to remember that. And, uh, but what I liked about tonight is it's a proper friendly. And, and that's what we get out of it. The ones before this, you know, there was a lot of talk last week against where it was poor. And, Looking at trialists, you know, once you settle it down and you play against a proper team like Gary's got, you know, you get a, a real good workout. And, and you know, he's missing big players, tonight, I know that, and, and I'm missing a few as well. So you think, no, Wilson Carvalho, Bailey Brown, Luca, Kieran Forbes, uh, Tommy Brewer, um, Simeon. At least I've probably missed two or three out as well. So the list is long. So we don't get carried away. It was a, it was a very, very competitive, friendly, exactly what I wanted from tonight. And I'm probably, Gary probably wanted that as well. And um, no, it, it, it was really good, really positive, and some really good performances. Anyone in particular stand out? I thought Joe White was very strong, played, played the whole game, looked good. Trial just scored towards the end. All around, I thought, really, really solid performance. Yeah, just, you know, I look at, you know, I, I felt that, you know, Cuba really good tonight that's that's the cuba we brought in you know he knows that he knows the levels um fred the goalkeeper outstanding really good performance kept us in it at times first half um so no, listen joe white liam brooks you can name a few ricardo you know hamza um it, it was it was a very good performance but as i say listen that means nothing if we turn up on the 14th and get beat you know it, that's what it's uh, it, it is so nice to win great to have gary here you know at the end of the day he's an absolute club legend here and um, he's a fantastic manager and he's got a fantastic side at Hampton. So, you know, we mustn't get carried away. It was a good performance, good win. Um, but I just thought that what I liked about us in the, in the second half, especially, we were really on the front foot. And that's how I want us to play. So, no, no good signs. So, Friday night, not too many here this evening. Friday night is going to be the biggest crowd that's ever been at Silver Jubilee Park. Your thoughts come, coming into the Arsenal game? Fantastic, you know, can't wait, really looking forward to it, but I think we can't get carried away. At the end of the day, we're still preparing for the full team, so as much as it's a, a spectacle, fan, listen, what a great opportunity of having Arsenal Football Club here, something that the club hasn't had before, uh, SJP, great crowd, but we have to approach it like it's a proper game, because as I say, we're building for the full team, and that's all that matters is we have to perform like that again. I've just said to them, they've set the standards, you drop below that, they won't play, you know, and... Um, but I'm, I'm just very pleased with, with the levels. I'm really excited for Friday because of the game, because of the crowd, but we must go and approach it like it's any other game and uh, put the performance in that we did tonight. So Gary, first time back at Silver Jubilee Park, what was that like for you? Um, it was good up to about half past seven. Uh, Steve, <laughs> it, was, uh, you know, it was nice to come back. The place has changed since I left. I mean, you know, a lot of credit needs to go to, to Rob and Tom and what's been done over there. It's an absolute credit. <laughs> It's lovely to be back, but performance maybe dampened that. It wasn't uh, wasn't a great showing on our part, but it'd always be lovely to come back back because it's a you know, special club to me. It's uh, it's been a long time. Did, did the result matter to you tonight? It's one of them pre-season. You know, the results don't matter when you lose. You know, it's pre-season. They don't matter. It doesn't count for anything. And when you're winning, it's about momentum and getting yourself ready for the start. So, look, I don't like losing games of football. I don't like la playing poorly, Steve. That's you know, that's just in my nature. You know, you're trying to get that sort of uh, quality in you rubbing off on them. You know, we've had some really good performances pre-season. Came against QBR, came against Hafsi Wimbledon, and then the two sandwiched in between them, Hendon and and with filler, we've not been quite where we need to be. So that's you know, that's more to do with mental than it is anything else, and that disappoints me really because like, you know you just at any level of football you can't switch it on and switch it off, and that's what we've uh, we've, we've done again tonight. We've not played anywhere near you know the capabilities of some some individuals and as a group. So I don't suppose where you currently play your home games, you've got a stand named after you. Where are you still no, got here? Yeah, exactly. I said that beforehand. It's um, you know we've uh, we've got a you know a name the sta a stadium a draw going on at the moment. So but no, not quite the stand yet. I think we've got a few more years to do there, Steve, before that happens. But yeah, no, it's, it's a lovely place to to work. It's uh, you know it's, I'm really enjoying my time there, Steve. I, I really am. It's you know it's obviously been difficult like it has for everyone the last couple of years because we've been in a really good place but and let's hope for everyone's sake that football you know is able to finish this year for all of us listen it's lovely to see you back and the you result Steve. doesn't matter but obviously no, we're yeah. delighted yeah. we trashed it right yeah well yeah. listen i'm chuffed a bit yeah, but no, no lovely to see you back and you Steve. take care man.
Cole, Cole, talk to B here because you're one and one. Go, Brooks in. Go,